guys golf occasion pro here you know me as the gourmetator this is law dog we're out here we're going to work on the wedge game today you, you know that's going to help you get those those closer putt opportunities to make uh, either par saves birdies eagles whatever it's going to be yes and so i'm going to help you figure that out today and then we'll add in whatever we add in today i'm so, excited yeah i'm really great to see you this is january folks in california but wait till next week we're supposed to have like seven days of rain Perfect. Which we might, could use it. We really can. <laughs> All right, everybody, please like, comment, subscribe below, and watch Law Dog. He's good. Really pivoting through. Nice, man. Come in here and check out that ball position. A little bit lower, right? Back in the stance, ball's coming out nice. Hands fall a little more forward naturally. And rotation speed. Here we go. Yeah. So I think on that one, maybe you got your hands and arms faster than your pivot. Oh, and so you scooped under it a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. blend it, it in better this time. You got to do a waltz with this sucker. You got to get the concert of your arms and body to be all, nothing's trying to rush anything. So that's a nice move, make, make it shorter. Make it shorter than that, make the ball back. So you're gonna go slow and low arms. Pivot the body two miles an hour. Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Good work. We're, we're blending that speed again, you know? That's too fast, man. Too, too fast, fast with the you. arms, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. Think about how slow your oh, body good. winds up, right? Yeah. Yeah, and just let it unwind slow, too. It's good. Good pivot through. Mm -hmm. And that right shoulder is going to come past the left shoe on the follow through, right? There you go. There we go. Yeah. Way to go. So Chris has got some rhythm going now, really feeling like how fast your hips wind up. I mean, they don't wind up that fast, and they can't. They're going slow. They're big muscles. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to wind up slow and unwind slow. Keep my arms going. With the slowness, two miles an hour. Perfect. That is right on line. I felt good. Really good. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we'll cut that out. Okay. We'll cut that out. Okay? So, the thing is, is when we're trying to get this miles per hour ratio going, right? It's like, I want the club head and your arms and the body to feel like they're at the same speed. Well, this is kind of like when we putt. It's like, that's why we don't send the putter across the green into a bunker. Because you're just, you know, you know how to gauge how fast things are going. So, with the wedges, it's a similar blend like you've been working on with me here. And it's like, well, if I went up and through, you could even do like a little pause over here for practices, for one thing. But you want to tell yourself, look, my, my body only winds so fast, right? And I can only turn, you know, I'm not going to pulse back. I'm not hitting driver. Mm -hmm. So you just wind it up and you can just say, okay, so it's winding up slow and I'm not going to speed up the unwind. I'm just going to go the same speed. So it'd be like one, two. And that same speed produces whatever that was, 15 yard, 20 yard shot. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you want to go a little further, you just go a, a little bit further or just increase the speeds a little, but you just want to keep blending in this motion of the arms connected softly to the ribs. Don't want to be rigid, but enough to just get you to move the club forward. Yeah, at the same speed. And that's what the expert player does. Expert player knows how to do that. Yeah. They blend in that speed really well. So the ball speed and the club head speed for a very good player is about the same. So if the club head's going 40 miles an hour, the ball will go, I mean, excuse, yeah, the ball will go 40 miles an hour. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. We're a driver, we want 1.5, okay, which is if you're swinging at 100 miles an hour, we want the ball to go 150. Mm -hmm. You're increasing, okay? So you just go, oh, okay, so if I just wave my arm like this, you don't have to be at the golf course. This motion is great for wedges. Great for anything, really. 
It's just that pivot and the arm just coming with. Keep unwinding and then look at the hole after you kind of unwind with everything, let it go, exactly. There we go. That was nice and smooth. You could feel that one, right? Mm-hmm, I can. Yeah. yeah. All right, everybody, so you can see how this idea of blending in the arm speed, the clubhead speed, and your body speed the same is gonna produce consistent spin, mm -hmm. con um, consistent proximity, how far the ball leaves you and lands, okay? And uh, also, just the symmetry of the flow, I guess, right? Great job today. Thank you. Getting those arms unwound with everything mm -hmm. together, creating those speed ideas. Everything was less than five miles an hour, right? Yeah. Because we know that's not very fast. So um, way to go. The other thing is, is like, don't forget to look down below for those links in the description. Where's that? Right down there. Right because down there. I, yeah, exactly. I've got three free videos to help you with other parts of your golf game, bomb and drives and hit and pass Phil Mickelson, you know, <laughs> things like that. And also we have a private Facebook group that I want you to get in there, folks. It's free. Hop in there. I've got guest instructors from all over the planet coming in there. Uh, the best of the best in their areas of uh, golf. And That's great. so it's exciting. So again, this is January 2021. Thanks a lot, Chris. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. And leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Work on these wedges.